Hello everyone. Welcome back and today we are gonna be learn, how to morph shapes in After Effects. Instead of simple shapes, we are going to use some icons designed in Illustrator. Guys, smash that like button and hit subscribe button if you don't. Thank you. First let's import the icons for morphing to our composition. As always, you can download this file from the description below. Now import it as composition. And open it. Ok, here we have all assets for this tutorial. Lock this background layer and select all other layers. Right click and create shape from vector layer. Move all these new shape layers to top. And delete the vector layer. We don't need this anymore. I am renaming all the shape layers to take out outline text. OK. Select all layer including the background, and copy and paste to the main composition. Again lock the background layer. These three layers are image icon. So pick a new color for this layer, to understand quickly. Like that pick another color for this two camera layers. And let's select pink color for the camera layer. Cool. Now I am going to trim the layers as sequence. Move timeline indicator to 1 second. And move the camera and image layers here. Hold shift white move for snapping easily. Move the image layers starting to 2 seconds. Let's trim the ending of the layers. Move the playhead to 1 second and trim the location icon layer. Move playhead to 2 seconds and trim here just like that. And at 3 seconds trim the image layers too. And press N on the keyboard to make work area end here. For this video I am using a simple and extra time saving free plugin called copies from AE Juice. But it is not necessary to use, but it will make work quickly. We can copy and paste keyframes ease. Let's move to the morphing technique. Select the location icon and move the playhead around here. And search for path. Add keyframes for both path. Select the camera main layer and decrease opacity to 50%. Let's hide this camera circle layer for now. Extend the camera main layer. So we can see the both layer at same time. Select the location layer and press U to show the keyframes. Move playhead around here. When you select the keyframe you can see some points appeared on the icon. So you can move and edit them, and also a new keyframe automatically created. Press Ctrl plus R to bring the rulers. Drag and add rulers around all sides of the camera icon like this. Now what I am going to do is modify the location icon to the camera icon. It is simple but little time consuming. For this we need some more points over the icon. Select the pen tool and add points over these three edges. Now select this points and move it over the ruler. 
Like this we need to move all points, and we don't need to maintain the exact shape of the camera. We will do it after this. When you select a point you can see this handle. Hold it and move on to the ruler. This will easily snap on the ruler. For edges you need to move the handles slowly like this and make the shape as camera layer as possible. Make all edges like this. Now let's extend the camera circle layer 2, and turn on the visibility. Decrease the opacity to 50%. Select any keyframe on location layer, and select the whole circle like this. Double click on any point, now we can transform this circle layer easily. Hold shift to maintain the perfect shape and move and make the circle exactly same to the big circle shape. Looks good to me. Select the camera circle and make scale animation, make initial scale value 0 and 100 few frames forward. Trim the location icon where the key frames end. And select the two camera layers and move to right by holding shift button. Let's move the camera circle layer a few frames backward. Now let's bring the opacity back to 100. Now I am going to easy ease the layer by copy ease plugin. You can see my graph here. Make graph something like this. Easy ease this keyframes too. Now it looks really smooth and seamless morphing. Now we made location to camera morphing animation. Using same step we want to make animation from camera to image. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like it. For this animation the steps are pretty similar. If you have any doubts or questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. I will surely replay as soon as possible.
Here you can use rulers it make the work extra easy. Select the pen tool and add more points if needed. Hold alt button and drag here to make the handles smooth. For animation of image bottom layer, I am doing position animation and alpha matte mask. Let's see. For mask, create a square shape and add fill. Add round corner and set round corner radius around 37. Match the position to final image icon. Move the mask layer above bottom image layer and set the track matte option to alpha matte. Now add animation for position, which is sliding from outside to up. Easy ease the keyframe and preview the animation. Ok, let's add some cool rotation and scale for this morphing. It will look much greater. Create a null object and parent all layers to it. We can control parented layers position, rotation and scale using this null object. I am adding scale animation, and rotation animation matching to the morphing speed. And finally we are done. Thank you for watching the video, if you learned something, make sure to like the video and you can watch more of our tutorials, like logo animation. See you in the next video.